Now, one of the questions uh, was, my wife thinks I'm cheating, and she literally, now I'm gonna not read exactly what the person wrote, but says she literally smelled my, we'll just say private part, to see if I was. Then the person says, mind you, I am cheating, but isn't it wrong for her to accuse me with no proof? <laughs> well, let, let me say this, and sure, I can get, give a clear-cut answer, but I really thought about this. One of the key manifestations of a relationship, specifically marriage, that's growing is becoming familiar. In other words, as a marriage grows, the relationship grows. In other words, uh, behavior awareness grows. Instinct becomes more sensitive. The closer you are, the more aware you are of each other. And remember this, too. One of the components of marriage is intimacy. We're not just talking physical. Let's define intimate. Closely acquainted, familiar, close, private, deeply knowing. Now, with that said, uh, with even whenever there's a level of distrust, whenever that happens, especially if it's infidel, and it can be in other ways, whether mental or physical, an automatic alert will come to that spouse. All right? That, that, that's why I purpose, purposely said what I said, and I gave thought to this and heard the Lord on a lot of this, and I know this firsthand being mad 36 and a half years. One of the manifestations of a growing relationship, growing marriage, is familiarity. You become familiar. Behavior awareness grows. So now, whenever distrust has taken place, an automatic alert comes to that spouse. In other words, that, that familiarity or that intimacy is off. Now, a lot of people, they deny it. They ignore it, but it is there. Amen. Amen. It's just like, and I've said this for years, it's just like a, a good parent who, who raised their, 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 their child, you know your child. Yeah. You know, the child, you know, they don't, they, you don't have to always see them do something to know that they did it. That's one of the dynamics of close relationship with a parent and a child. You don't have to necessarily have seen them to have done something to know that they did do it. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not good English, did do it, but that, that they done it. Yeah, yeah. All right? You see, in many marriages, when it's like that, you know, they, people, man or woman, husband or wife, they, they, they get it, but a lot of them, they deny it they ignore it. See, because what you ignore, you don't have to confront. And really, with this question, this wife is only confronting, really, what the, the man here, he, he, he asked the question, she's only confronting what you admitting that you're doing. You know? Now, now, most cheaters, whether they're men or women, many of them, they, they, they think they're getting away. They think they're covering their tracks. But you see, there is no lie or cover-up that can wipe away inner discernment. This is real life, folks. And like I say, a lot of people are in denial of that. They ignore that, you know, when the relationship has, is close like that because there's familiarity with it. 
And when something is off, one, they know it. Whether they say anything or not. Hmm. Now let me also add this, and this is from a spiritual standpoint, because what I said, you don't even have to be saved for that. That's automatic. Now from a spiritual standpoint, now this, 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 this individual said that, that uh, their, their wife literally wanted to, to smell them. But now from a spiritual standpoint, sin does have an aroma. That's in your Bible. You know, how do I simplify? That's one of the reasons why you have some people who stay away from church when they in sin. Because it has an aroma. Or don't want to be around spiritual people. I hope I'm helping you, brother. Now, let me also add this, too. Every spouse has a right to confront something that seems off. That's part of, of, of your right as a husband or wife. You know, we ain't boyfriend and girlfriend. We're married now. So every spouse has a right to, to confront if something seems off. And, and that ain't just with infidelity, that's it with anything. Yeah. You know, if, if I sense like, did you pay the bill? You got a right to ask. And then now, now this is where the defense can come in at. What, you don't trust me? And it's okay to say, you know what, right now, I don't. This is as Dr. Pettis. And I don't just play one on TV. I'm anointed. Because I gave this thought, and the Lord, the Lord downloaded a lot of this to me. Now, whether people admit it or not, it's true. You know, now let me add this too. Because sometimes folk are afraid to confront things, but sometimes a confrontation can save that relationship. Continuous denial will kill it. All right. So my brother, I hope I, I, I you know, helped you with that. So don't, 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 don't get mad at her, especially you guilty. You know, and, and, and that, that instinct is there. That closeness is there. So, so she was able to sense something is off. So she confronted it. Now, how she went about it, you know, that, that's you all. You know. You know, it, it's no different than, than that. You ain't got to get, get, get that, that graph, graphic. You know, it, it, it would be just like uh, uh, with, with perfumes and smells. You know, it would be like if I smell brute on my wife. I ain't wore brute since I was in high school. Now, I ain't knocking brute, teacher's on. But why do I smell brute on you? And you ain't been nowhere, you say. <laughs> 